What did Guinness say was the reason that they disqualified you? Yes, yeah, so truly, uh, the reason they gave me was very understanding. I'm saying it was very understanding. Hey guys, welcome to my channel and my name is Emma Adonis. You know, for some past week, uh, Shefela, we all know her, the woman that did the cookathon for 227 hours in Ghana, and she has been disqualified. We all heard the news. Barely two hours after the United Showbiz uh, show, she just released a statement. She and her team released a statement that she's been disqualified. Why? She made it clear that because of the break time, no, she break the rules. That's what she said. And I've actually done a video on it showing that she actually spent one hour on break, which the rule states that for every one hour of cooking, you're supposed to spend only, what, five minutes on break. She did one hour on break. I don't know what she was thinking. But I actually tell you some of the reasons why she was disqualified. Because you can see that the time that Hilda Bassett did her cook at home, you can see that she was, she was uh, released and she's tired. But when you see Fela did almost eight, eight, eight hours, she was dancing. Yeah, that's what Ghanaians are known of. I'm not going through to that thing. You all have heard the story. But let's go to spin test and look at uh, Chef Smith. He has done cookathon. He also did cookathon for 820 hours. For me, I don't have the assurance that he is going to get something out of it because we have a lot of tom pandemics in Ghana right now. We are facing what's the things that we should focus on. The economy of Ghana is not encouraging, but we are focusing on Ton, 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 the ton pandemics, which are very dangerous, that COVID 19. That's what I know. So, Chef Smith did 820 hours. So, he ended on the sixth match and he concluded with some little party and uh, they mount a stage over there. A lot of some artists came there. Joby also went there for the celebration and for his uh, superhuman activity. Because he was trying to prove to us that he can go a thousand miles without getting tired. You know, when Chef Smith uh, started this thing, he actually just wanted to do it for a few days. But because a woman, a woman in Canada, did almost 400 hours, so he said, nah, I want to be the overall boss. I want to set a record that nobody will be able to breach. So that's how all the things started. So he moved to 820 hours which is approximately 34 days and 4 hours. Wow. He's trying to prove like a superhuman. But nonetheless, do you think Chef Smith is going to obtain something from Dix? He has actually dowered. Congratulations, Chef Smith. But do you guys think he's going to gain something out of this? Because uh, if we are Santiwa, who brought the Tom pandemic in Ghana, the first lady that did the longest singing marathon in Ghana, she was disqualified. We all have heard her story, how she was disqualified. And the second woman that followed her, which is Chef uh, Fela, also did the same thing, and she was disqualified. Now we have Chef Smith for the longest cooking marathon. The current recorder has a record of 119 hours, 57 minutes. Alan Fisher, that's the current recorder of the longest cooking marathon individual. And Chef Smith did 820 hours wow such an achievement you know Ghanaians I don't know I have just been seeing this thing like it's just for the film they are not there to break record because I want to make something clear to you when uh, Chef Smith was cooking and uh, Amarado goes there he left his position and he was standing there looking at Amarado that actually disqualified him that's for me because when you look at the Guinness World Record rules it does not go that way. Whether you cook for one hour and rest for five minutes, or you cook for four hours and you go for rest for 20 minutes, you don't have the audacity to stand and be looking at somebody or hugging somebody. It does not go that way. But that's how it happens. By the way, let's go to the main reason why we are here today. Chef Fela was granted an interview and she was explaining the reason why she was disqualified. And she made a point that if like Guinness World Record would tell her that she did not cook or, or the taste of the food was not effective, 
it would have pained her because that's uh, what she felt like doing and that's what she loved doing let's listen to her what did guinness say was the reason that they disqualified you yes so truly uh, the reason they gave me was very understanding i'm saying it was very understanding because they if just maybe they had mentioned you didn't cook well you didn't do this right you didn't do that right maybe it would have hit me so hard you all have heard what you said that's the uh, the point that she made but there are certain points that she made again which i was like nah it is not supposed to go like that because you have a team that looks after a certain domain of what you are going to do you are not the one doing everything right there you are just there to cook yours is to cook you have somebody that look after the ingredients you have somebody that check the time the those things so if you think maybe it's like i don't know it's exhausting when you are going for uh attempt to break a record me i think if you know you don't have the capability don't try it don't try it that's what i know so she said uh she will not blame uh the people that was looking after the time though they say because of the time that's why she was disqualified but she's grateful for the people that were on the timing the timing department she's grateful because they are made up of the young and the vibrant whatever she was saying let's listen to her and they mentioned that there was a little hitch in my rest break so the rules are that for every hour you're supposed to take five five minutes, minutes. yes every and hour. particularly kukaton mm -hmm. believe me it's a difficult task to take having you stand on your feet for hours and having to work with your hands your legs your brain you put two males on fire at a go. However, the food will come out. It should be by your intelligence. It should be by how smart you are. And the moment that food is cooking, those two foods are cooking on fire because at every point in time, there must be two foods on fire. You are equally thinking of the next set of meals to put on fire. So you're thinking on your feet. Exactly. Your hands are working. So when you, when you get into the kitchen, there's the hot room you are focused on yes in as much as you want to follow their guidelines as especially the timings you are focused on being true to the reason why you are in that kitchen and that's your culinary skills so who was responsible for making yes, sure so, that you so, were so when you, on time? yes so when you are in in the kitchen for instance even before you start there is a timing team so you cannot take so much control of your timing you cannot you you you, you would be there and they will tell you to approach you and tell you that oh Phila, you have done six hours you've done eight hours you need to get inside for the medical hours. team to check up on you especially the medical team check up on you check your vitals and then you can freshen up and come back so um you totally would not have control the of time. the time people take control of it and for that reason if you have five minutes break and you get a hitch by one minute let's say four minutes meaning you omitted mm -hmm. one it's still a reason for you to have made a mistake it yes. doesn't mean you had gone to do seven hours mm -hmm. you went and slept five hours mm -hmm. no if you were if you were supposed to do five minutes you must have and you minutes. got there six minutes it means it's that one minute is a hitch yeah, to you because it's a competition it's a, that is your timing team responsible for because that's the only reasons that guinness uh, well, gave, they gave two, that, they that two the violations only you hold them responsible um i won't say i hold them responsible Look, but, but they should have been checking. amongst my team were very solid young guys and young ladies particularly being youth being there 24 7 left their various families left their jobs and sat there with me through it all believe me gratitude will be an understatement if because of my timing team i got a hitch to be unsuccessful with this attempt i can tell you on authority that i still hold them so dear to my heart <clears throat>
you can imagine if I had to even hold my own time whilst doing that record. How was that going to look like? They made an effort I can never undermine. You would have heard her story. That's what she made it clear. But me, I think all the people that are engaging in this aton, aton, aton. Sometimes I don't want to listen to it, but half or do. We are in Ghana, so it's happening. The atom pandemic no, is happening. Very soon, I think somebody will be going for fuck aton. <laughs> Me, I don't know, but somebody have done kiss aton. So if somebody have done kiss aton, I think somebody will go for f aton. You all know what I'm talking about. What do you think about what she made it clear that she was disqualified due to certain reasons? What do you think? Whatever you think about her disqualification let it be in the comment section thank you for watching abdonis studio and my name is emma adonis thank you